what's up viewers and subscribers my day again you know people with a real banging exclusive you understand what i say yeah man we have an exclusive interview with dr love and cold pastor best friend or should i say ex best friend you understand so the woman talk about everything you know guys you understand I want to know watch the video guys i want to know share you see if you love your brother and your sister you see if you know mean and your family well to share out that video yeah. because you see the things that in that video yeah, people need to hear people need to know the truth behind uh, this so whole heap of story come out whole heap of update come out but to have the best friend right now i talk the things them from when he was 14 come straight up me not even did know so this man yeah, have all wife i want to tell you so he have all a daughter too so guys on a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Big up the whole of my new viewers, them you know. Guys, I feel free enough to support the channel, guys. You can donate to the channel, you know. You understand what I say, guys? Yeah, man, on a big up on yourself. Real exclusive, banging me around here, so guys. You understand? I put a whole heap of work in that one here. So, guys, do me a favor. Just share out the video, share it to your auntie, your uncle, everybody. Because right you now, people, if we not turn up strong, we are going to lose our faith. If we not turn up strong, we are going to turn our back upon the church. You understand? Well, people are going to turn them back. I am not turn my back still you know, because I know the truth and live in God for myself. So, I don't make no man come tell me nothing. You understand? No man can't trick me and take away my money or nothing like that. You understand? I say people you need to stop taking the money and give away and get to past and all of them things. You need to know God to for yourself. God have everything in our world, you know. So, you got to do with your money. I don't know if you ask for yourself. Big up all of my Christian people, them, and the people them need to watch them boy picnic with the pastor. Them. You understand what I say? I don't know if you watch a girl picnic too. Or should I say girl, girl picnic? You understand what I say, guys? Watch a girl picnic. Watch a girl picnic. You hear me? I want to know. Watch a boy picnic too. Because I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I don't know if I love when pastor gives you things. I don't know if I love when you picnic and pastor a friend. I don't know if cut it out. You understand what I say? So I have an exclusive update guys. And for the brother, where him and pastor a right hand, him and call pastor a right hand, him get charged to him. Yeah man, him get charged to man people. And the worst thing about it, him a call pastor right hand and him broke like dog. You can't be right hand for your top man and you know the money. You want a legal aid lawyer. Him should be ashamed of himself. Yeah man my people, if you be ashamed of myself man, so people more want to spam up the comment section and remember to like up the video guys and listen to what I go on and understand. That man was no sin, that man was a wicked and that didn't get exactly what he's supposed to get. And there's a lot more to follow him, okay? No, the man was living in Canada. Never bring on somebody on the phone, on the, the live, who know the man and can tell about the man, the real story about that demon. Right? So, I'm going to bring on somebody pan here so we can tell you about the man, okay? Hi, Dr. Love. How are you doing? What's going on? Oh, not too bad. Yes. How's everything going? Everything is good over here. How is everything on your side? It's shocking, you know? It's shocking? To, it's, it's very shocking right. to know that somebody who you personally, personally know right. did all of this. And right. it's so big all over the media. It's right. crazy. And mm -hmm. let, me say, let me say something to you before you go. Okay. Sometimes when I bring on people on the live, you have to, don't pay attention to the comment, them, whatever they're saying. Focus on me, right? Because some of these people, yeah, it's all they, good. they're really right up here, so. And some of them yeah. have a mental problem. And some of them have uncle and brother and daddy walk around and feel people get fit and people boy fit. So you have to see with them. For, sh for sure, right. it's been it's been a norm in the culture of Jamaica right. for for these things to happen and people just accept it. Right, and let yeah. me, let's clarify one thing because I'm trying to explain to them that the man dead and them that understand that the man dead, they are saying that in Ghana one different country and all kind of something. So me actually have explained that in dead in Ghana dead in spirit. He said, right. He was actually telling them in the police station that he was going to die, but they didn't understand what he was saying. In his language. That's exactly what he was in saying. In his terms of prophecy. Right. He did, they didn't understand what he was saying. 
Right. But they were just laughing and joking. I know Kevin since he was 14 years old. Right. I went to church with him. Wow. So that man never worked a day in his life. Right. He he was preaching for all of his life. Right. And once he became over 18, he got married. He had a wife. Mm -hmm. And he was actually caught here in Canada with multiple different men. But he found a scheme in Jamaica where he could manipulate and trick the system and trick the people. Right. So, 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 so the church, so you and him was going to the same church? We were going to the same church since we were kids. Well, and what was his life in Canada? What was, what was his life like in Canada? People liking him or, or the relationship wise before he got married? Well, people loved him because guess what? He was young and he proclaimed himself to be a prophet. Right. And he was always, he was always hearing from God. For some reason, he said he was always hearing from God. But everything that God told him was to kill people or this stuff is going to happen to you. Right. Everything was like doom and gloom for him. Right. It wasn't anything necessary good. Right. Everything was just, you know, and him um, collecting, offering late fees when you get to church, that's typically what he learned in Toronto. He oh. learned it from all the bishops. So all the bishops here loved him because he was 14, 15, 17, and they groomed him. Oh. And once he tried to sleep with my friend, Mm -hmm. who is a male, who is a boy, right. and we went to pastor with it. Pastor denied it. Then we went to the overseer. Overseer denies it. Right. And they still had Kevin traveling all over, preaching and ministering to people until his wife actually caught him with a man multiple times. Then he migrated to Jamaica. Wait, wait, wait. They, and then, they, they, they said that he was arrested in Canada. He, he, was, he was, not to my knowledge, he was never arrested in Canada. Kevin was always preaching. He traveled to Africa. Mm -hmm. Even years before, Kevin was always in England. Mm -hmm. You can even look it up on YouTube. He's been in England. Right, they, like, said, they said that he was in jail for, for six months before he was deported back to Jamaica. That's the news I saw that they said the police said because the liar was confirming that I guess she must have spoke to the police in Canada and they said he was arrested for he was in jail for six months for for having sexual assault with a twenty one year old. Um, he's been with multiple men. Right. Men. Does he have any kids? He has one child. Oh, you have one. That, child? yeah, that is unknown. So church is a thing where they hide and cover things mm -hmm. because no one would ever come out and say, I know Kevin personally, mm -hmm. you know, I've been Kevin's best friend. Everybody right now, they're, they're in a disarray. They're, mm -hmm. they're surprised and, and they're hiding. Right. They're hiding. And in order for Kevin to be a bishop, mm -hmm. there's other churches out there under him. That's one thing you need to know. Right. So if he Bishop um, Kevin Smith, that means there's other churches and there's other churches doing the same thing that Kevin has done. Right. Um, so, so, so do you know if the child living in Canada, where the child is living, if it's a girl or it's a boy? It's a daughter, it's to a my daughter. knowledge. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, so he does have one kid and... Uh, and then he's, he, he was married in Canada, right? Right. So was his wife, mm -hmm. was, his wife was going to the same church? They were, uh, they were going to my sister church. Like oh. they say, sister church. Like right now, I don't go to church. I don't have nothing to do with church. Right. There's so many stuff that's happened in church that I don't want to be a part of that garbage. Right. And yeah. Okay. Once Kevin was caught with, with, with one of my friends who, 
made a complaint to the pastor mm -hmm. and they covered it and they actually disgrace you and say, you know, this is a spiritual man. He would never do anything like this. And, mm -hmm. you know, do you know who you're talking about and all this stuff? Then, you know, it's just time for you to grow. Go. Right. Yeah. Do you think that um, when he was in Jamaica and so forth, running the church, do you think that he was still down there having sexual relationship with boys and, and all of that? Of course. He was doing that the whole time. You know, it would only take a fool to know that he was not having relations with men and uh, little young boys. Right. Because his main focus was on men. He always disgraced women. He had no love for women. He's always had no love for women and no respect for as, women. As you said that, I was watching a video with him and he was... When the lady gave him the two hundred dollars, he said to the lady, "Say, say two hundred dollars. When say two hundred dollars can't feed you your chink family, ching bang pickings. Ching bang, yeah, and then yeah, the guys then give him the money. Is 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 body language towards the guys that was was always a present way because they said that a present. He yeah, three three. They said they have three little boys that living in in the in the house with him. That's what I heard. I don't know how true it is and so forth." And, but where do you mm -hmm. think he get this money to build this house? Was he? But wait a minute, wait a minute. They said that he was also a dealer in Canada too. That's what they said. No, that Doctor Love. What I know. Okay, when you're a preacher, when you're a minister, remember, Kevin is a master manipulator, right? right? He went to um, Bible college, mm -hmm. so he studied psychology, right. like. He's a master manipulator. Right. So he went, he went to school. When you are a preacher, you get paid to be a preacher. Once you go to any church to preach, mm -hmm. that's, that's, your, that's your money. Right. And people are collecting offering for you two or three times right. more. And plus you get like a, a, a big check cut to you. So that's enough for, for him to live off. Since he was 14, he's never lifted a straw in his life. He's never worked like, you know, honest bread. It's just all church money. So is, do you know if his wife is still alive? Obviously, she's still alive. But if they're church people, they're not going to come out. I would love for her to say her piece right. on the man she really knew or who knows if she's going to come out. You right. get it? But Kevin is a person that does not respect women. Right. He's always humiliate women. Right. Always. And for all these women to be talking about him like he's some god, he is not. What they what they use on you is it's called conversational hypnosis. Right. So there are certain words that they say and they hypnotize you and they put you under spell. And that's how these preachers can get you to do certain things without right. you knowing. And that's how he could get these police officers to be shooting after other police officers because they're hypnotized and they're under a spell. So, so let me ask you a question. What do you think, what do you think happened in that car? Yes, I mean, wait, wait, before I go there. What I noticed is that when he was in the police station, there was something funny about his whole conversation and his, his chanting, he was, he was chanting and so forth, right? Right, right. What do you really think have happened? Because you know him. You, you know him very well. We don't want right. to see him and so forth. You grew up with him. You, you, you was in the same environment with him and so forth. What do you For think sure. happened to him in that car yesterday? I think when he was in... This is spiritually deep. I think when he was in the police station, he was telling him their destiny. Mm -hmm. Because I think for him to have this plan that he's going to mm -hmm. slaughter 144 people, I think what he was doing, the, the devil requires more blood. Whoever's in those kind of rituals. Mm -hmm. they, they always want more blood right. so I think that was to, 
to, to buy him more time, right? Whatever right. deal he makes. If you notice, he right. operates like the African church. Right. And some of the stuff that he's learned, he's learned it in Toronto, you know, under certain bishops. So the power that he's operating under mm -hmm. did not buy him. Whatever happened at the church, it didn't buy him enough time because he didn't get to slaughter all the, the people that he wanted to. Mm -hmm. So he knew that it was going to be the end for him. Right? Okay. And I think mm -hmm. Kevin knew it was time to go. And he was never going to tell on anybody who was involved. He would have never. If you know Kevin, if you look at his interview, he was just smiling. And, and he was telling them, rapture, rapture means, means rape. And he was talking like, effeminine like almost like he's a, a lady right. and then he started to prophesy that god called him since he was nine years old mm. and all of this and all of that so i think kevin whatever demon that was working with him i think it worked and and um caused an accident and then he's under yeah and then he's under some right I mean, go ahead and then the, the young man, which is the policeman that died in the car accident, because I was talking to a spiritual leader yesterday and I said that that young man in the car, that is also a, a part of sacrifice. Because whatever happened in the car, right. it, did, it did have to happen. Yeah. And I get to understand that they had a police officer that based on what have happened and the way Kevin was, they probably don't even make it. Right? And uh, yeah. And what they were saying that what 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 behind the scene was saying is that when he left the police station, the, 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 the higher spirit that he was working with, right, that he tapped into, was just waiting oh, for the perfect yeah. time to make yes. whatever happened and so forth. And when you look at him when he with the whole accident and the way he died and so forth, you could see that something terribly went wrong and those police officers see something in the car, whatever it is. They know what yeah. it is, and they probably never live to tell the story which one died and so forth. And um, yeah. with 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 so with that and so forth. One thing I said this before of what my spiritual ways tell me that I do believe that there's body at that church, and there's body at his home buried. Do you you know him? Um, I think Kevin was always doing this. Mm -hmm. He just thought busted he was always doing this look at those people who he rented um the place to he chained them in the house i think he was always getting foreigners from abroad and slaughtering them and because jamaica is so slack mm -hmm. they they haven't figured it out that this man has been murdering people for years and i think the church is buried on a lot of um a lot of dead people and they need to do forensic uh, scene. They need to mow that uh, shit down and just, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And the, and the home, I do believe that I was, this may sound crazy, but I was looking at the home. And I was looking at a particular way in the home. And I'm saying, looking at it, and I say, you know that people is buried there. You know, he's right. been doing it for years and burying people. It, this man was like a serial killer that had been doing it and tapping into spirit. And also the females then, the females then that was glorifying him in the church, I was saying that I don't think that those females should get involved with any farmer guys. And I think that family member who have family that was going to that church, they need to look deeper within to them because I don't know Kevin, you know Kevin, and the right. them that, that he have done over the years. And then what, but what do you think about the I mean, we don't have to call the name, but what do you think about the, the church in Canada, the pastor them over there, that where he was going and so forth? I know there's a lot of things you can't talk about. I understand, but I know you. There, there, no, but there, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that's happening in church because multiple times mm -hmm. when things happen in church, they just bury it. Right. Bury it. Okay. For instance, it so happened that. One of my good friends, 
-hmm. is a minister. Right. And I went to him. This is something that somebody came and confessed to me. Right. Like, say, for instance, we'll use the name Cheryl. I'm, right. We'll use the name Cheryl for, oh, I'm sleeping with Sister Cheryl. Mm -hmm. And Sister Cheryl's husband is my friend and mm -hmm. who is a minister. And I went, this is a true story, you know, but we're just using this right. thing, for example. Right. And I went to him. I went to my friend and I said, you know, so-and-so said that they're sleeping with your wife. You know what the guy said to me? Mm -hmm. He said, that's a lie. And he, he is spiritual enough to see and, and, and how God um, gave him this wife and all of this stuff. And it turns out that two of the child, mm -hmm. the woman had three kids. It turns out that two of the child is not for him mm -hmm. out of all three children. And this is church. Oh. And it ended up that the same woman even bus fight in church physically mm -hmm. over this man. Mm -hmm. Right? So there is some nastiness. It turns out that there's another minister who I'm working with at my workplace who's sexing off all the young girls. And when I went to Pastor Wife, who is supposed to be like my mother, mm -hmm. and I and I went and I said, you know, uh, you know, brother so and so, who is actually a preacher too, ministering, praying on people. Mm -hmm. crying tears and speaking in X amount of tongues. Mm -hmm. And I say, you know, you know, a